why does it make way more sense for creators to have a free newsletter? You have two minutes. I think it comes down to two things. So uh, the first is distribution and the second is monetization. So when we're talking about uh, growing an audience as a creator, the thing that matters most is, I think, reaching new creators and getting distribution for that. And uh, it's so much easier to get in front of new people if you are offering a free newsletter, something that people can try out for free, check out and all that. You know, we talk to a lot of people who run paid newsletters and they struggle a lot with what should be free and what should be paid. Because if I have this really great piece of content and that goes behind a paywall, that means it's not going to get a lot of distribution. Um, but if I'm giving away all the best stuff for free, then what is someone going to pay for? And so you end up in this thing of, of what is the purpose of this content? The second point is monetization. So as a creator, if we're trying to make money, um, the question that I ask is, what's the highest value place that I can point this attention? Right? If I get someone reading my newsletter, if I'm um, signing up, you know, following me on social, any of that, what's the highest value place I can direct that attention? Um, is it to a, uh, you know, a course, an ebook, sponsorships? And there's so many options. And often, what I run into is I actually don't think that a paid newsletter is the highest ROI way to do that, uh, because you know you get into usually charging a fairly low price. Uh, a lot of people start their paid newsletters at five dollars, ten dollars a month. Uh, the churn on that's really high. You're getting people jumping in, not paying you that much to begin with. Um, and so it ends up not bringing in that much money. It ends up churning out after not that long. And you end up on this hamster wheel where you feel like you have to keep creating content all the time. Very <laughs> compelling. Dan, uh, it's your turn. What are the advantages to having a paid newsletter? Two minutes. Um, com compelling points, Nathan. Um, <laughs> thanks for sharing. Um, uh, I, I disagree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I'm uh, so glad. <laughs> so, so just like, just, uh, just really fundamentally, if every was a free newsletter, we would be out of business. Um, and the reason for that is, uh, we actually, we, we have a, a really nice sponsorship business, but it's very lumpy. So, um, what, what, what we found is selling ads every month. It was, a, it's a great, um, kind of uplift to our normal subscription business. You know, it, for us, it was like a 20 or $30,000 business, but uh, when it a month, but when, you know, the macro conditions changed, it just almost went away, like almost entirely overnight. And that was like a huge deal for our business. And, but luckily we had a subscription business to fall back on. We have like 3,200 paying subscribers that pay us 20 bucks a month and that's not going away. And so for us, like having a core of the business, that's a, that's a, that's recurring revenue is like crucially important and allows us to make investments and plan and, um, uh, yeah, I just, uh, it's a, it's a way easier way to run a business than having to survive every single month by trying to sell as much as you possibly can every month, this new month. 